Paul here from PeaceMeg TV. In this week's Reaper tutorial, we're going to cover parenting. Now, parenting is a very, very useful feature inside a digital audio workstation like Reaper. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover some of the basic, fundamental reasons why you'd use it and show you a couple of examples of how it can speed up your workflow. As you can see, I've already created three tracks inside Reaper. We've got one blank channel, which is the Guitar Master, and we've got Guitar Left and Guitar Right. I've recorded some simple audio just for some example purposes. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the Guitar Master as our parent folder. So let's do that first of all. All we need to do is select the channels that we want or the tracks that we want to work with. Click, lift them up so we've got the blue line in between the two selected channels and the Guitar Master channel. And as we lift that up over to the right hand side, you'll see that the blue line indents ever so slightly. Once we let go, you see that that now indents and that's now become the parent for the guitar left and the guitar right channels. What other things can we do with this? Well, one of the cool features is we've got volume sliders that allow us to affect the volume of individual channels. But what we can also do is we can use the master or the parent to control the overall volume of all the channels that sit inside that parent. So for example, if I adjust the volume on my guitar left, and my guitar right. I boost one, reduce the other. That's great. We now can see that that's going to affect those particular channels. But what if those channels are still in within the mix slightly too loud? It could get time consuming with multiple channels. You go into each individual one and adjust them proportionally. So what we can do is we can use the master channels volume slider and control that. That will control the overall volume of both of these channels that sit inside it. So there's another useful thing we can do. Another great benefit, and one that's going to help you if you've got lots of channels and a slower computer, is we can apply effects that need to be applied to the multiple channels inside that parent to the parent itself. So let's say, for example, we've got our guitars left and right, and they're using the same kind of sound, same levels and inputs and things like that. But what we want to do is we want to apply an EQ to them. We could do it on an individual channel basis, or if we know that this EQ is going to be pretty much the same across all those channels, we could apply it to the guitar master channel. Let's take a look at how that works. If I click to add a new EQ channel, you can see I'll bring up my normal EQ and I'll just quickly go and apply some basic low pass, high pass filters to that. Nothing that you wouldn't have already done in the past. Oh, wrong one. So we've got a basic filter on there, and if I just play the, the, the audio back, switch it on and off, you can see how that's been applied to all the tracks that sit underneath it. So that's a quick way of working with EQ and compression and things like that that you're going to do across all those channels, but only needing to do it one time. Now obviously there are situations where this wouldn't be appropriate and, and you're better off then applying it to each individual channel. But if you know that you can apply compression or you can apply EQ or any other kind of effect that you'd want to apply to all of the channels inside that particular instrument group, then applying it to the master channel definitely, definitely is a way of going about working with this that's going to make it much more CPU friendly and just going to be a quicker way of working because you've only got one instance that you need to go back in and tweak. One of the other cool features is the fact that the mute and the solo buttons will work specifically for the master channel and affect all of the, ch the channels that sit below it. So for example, if I play the track, hit the mute button, it mutes all of the channels that sit underneath that parent. The same goes with the solo. So a quick way of muting and soloing an entire group of instruments without having to go through individually and mute or solo each track. So again, it's another quick benefit that speeds up your overall process. I've simply scratched the surface of what you can do when you parent tracks with Inside Reaper or any other door that you may be using. I hope you found this tutorial useful. And if you have, please click the subscribe button, follow the channel, tell your friends about it and share this. Until next time, take care.